Hey everybody, welcome to another impromptu unboxing here at A Week in Geekdom. Geo here, and I kind of wanted to do this uh, just for the hell of it, because I know half of YouTube has already seen this freaking Blu-ray release, because it's pretty old in internet age. But regardless, here we are. I am unboxing the first Aniplex release for Demon Slayer. So let's go ahead and do it. First off, I love the art in the box. It just looks fantastic. And uh, this image in particular, I did not know it had it. Uh, I, I knew about the front, but I didn't know about the back. And it looks so cool. I'm gonna take this off, even though it's an Aniplex release, so everything in this set is expensive, even the little paper thingy. So let's take care of this first. Let's take this off right here. That's probably like five bucks from that from that price tag. But yeah, the box is super clean, really aesthetically pleasing. I love how the spine looks right there. Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba, Volume 1, Episodes 1 through 13. So we're going to place this right here. And we're going to take a look at the first uh, Blu-ray case right here, or the jewel case. Here are all the episodes. And it says disc 1, 2, and 3 containing episodes 1 through uh, 13. But if you open it up, it looks pretty fabulous. This image looks really cool. And we'll take a look at it in detail in a little bit. Inside, it looks uh, black and white, which I did not expect, but it fits, I guess. It looks pretty cool. The disc art looks awesome. And here are the other two discs. If you're wondering what's on the second one, the soundtrack. I knew it was coming with the soundtrack, but I did not expect three freaking CDs for the soundtrack. I didn't know the show had that many uh, tracks involved. Uh, I thought it was just going to be one disc and that's it. But yeah, here it is. Here is the first one. And volume two and three of the OST, I guess. But... What's cool about this is this Nezuko image right here, which looks really beautiful and awesome. So, that's pretty much it. The extras, aside from the soundtrack, you've got this really cool uh, booklet, Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, Volume 1. I wish we could get this uh, sort of a hardcover or a bigger release later down the line, an art book. That'd be pretty sweet, because I typically don't like pamphlets like this or booklets. But it has all the info about the episodes, uh, the staff cast, what, what they did to make the thing, that sort of info. And you also have a couple of character studies, if you will, for different characters in the first half of the first season. So that's interesting. Oh, and yeah, the back. Looks pretty interesting, although it's super blurry. There we go, sort of. The other thing that really impressed me was sort of these art cards, but they're more like art prints, really. I'm gonna show you here. They are very paper stocky in quality, which I do appreciate. Uh, makes it a little bit more uh, valuable, I guess, in terms of quality. So here's the image from the uh, Blu-ray. You can hear that. Here is the second one. Here's from the uh, other case with the CDs. <laughs> CDs in 2020. God bless. Here is, as you can see, that's the image that they used for the Blu-ray, for one of the Blu-ray discs, as well as Senitsu over here. Is this thing focusing? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> As I said, this is completely improvised. I wasn't really gonna do this because I don't, I'm not doing that many uh, unboxings, but uh, I wanted to do it for this because it was a little bit expensive and I am not a collector of <laughs> Aniplex releases. I only got like one or two uh, back there. But yeah, the thing with this release 
I love the anime and I love the manga. I'm collecting the manga and, and I'm watching the anime and all that stuff. I, I watched it when it debuted. Uh, would I recommend this release for somebody uh, to get into Demon Slayer? I gotta be honest with you guys, no I do not. Uh, I think for the price... I th the thing is, you're like, oh, but it comes with so much stuff. Yeah, but this is just the first half of a release, so you're looking to spend much more than what they're asking, because uh, you're only seeing the price for it, this set, for Volume 1, if you will, or, yeah, Volume 1. I, I don't know. I mean, if you've got the money, hell, go for it, you know. I, I just happen to have the extra uh, dosh to make it happen. But honestly, I'm a very practical guy. As you can see, my anime Blu-ray collection is mostly filled with uh, the single releases. Because uh, you can fit a lot more on a Billy shelf if you go that route instead of just buying every single collector's edition. Plus, there's the fact that I'm not going to use 90% of the stuff that's in the collector's editions for different anime. Stuff like posters or... Uh, different art cards or keychains, all that stuff. I'm not somebody that likes using that stuff. So they're just going to be boxed up and I'm not going to look at it. So uh, regardless, uh, for the price, I mean, yeah, you get the, the Blu-ray release and you might want a uh, bare bones edition, which is available uh, for pre-order as of this video. So I would go for that route, honestly. The presentation is immaculate, it's beautiful, it's a gorgeous release, one of the best ones that they've done. But again, it all comes down to how you feel about spending so much money on a release like this. So if you if money is a factor, uh, thankfully Funimation's putting out the standard edition, which you can get for 40 something dollars, uh, which is fantastic. So I would go that route. But if you've got the money and you don't care about spending it on uh, pro high profile releases like this and deluxe sets and all that stuff, go for it. Why, why the hell not? Treat yourself, right? But yeah, I'm just being completely honest and I'm probably going to get some flack from Aniplex Purist because that's happened in the past, but I don't care. It is what it is. So yeah, love and hate relationship with Aniplex, uh, it continues wonderful stuff <laughs> so yeah that was a very impromptu unboxing completely improvised as I said I, I wasn't really thinking of doing it I just looked at it uh, a couple minutes ago before starting the uh, recording and said you know what Pfft, screw it let's do a video on it so yeah fantastic a plus presentation questionable price if you will but overall a really cool looking set for one of uh, the hottest shows in the biz right now. So, yeah, make of it what you will. Uh, still, I am going to enjoy re-watching the series and cannot wait for the second box set because that has one of the best anime moments or anime fights of 2019, if you know what I'm talking about. Cannot wait for that. So guys, uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of A Week in Geekdom. Thank you so very much. I truly appreciate it. I've got to go. I'll catch all of you on our next episode.